State hosting Delaware in Happy Valley here this afternoon. Penn State has won the toss. They will defer to the second half and kick it away. So Joshua Youngblood is back to receive the kick from Gabriel Wosu. And this one will be a touchback to get things started. Delaware offense will come out onto the field. Last week, a 37-13 win at Stony Brook to start their season. O'Connor able to throw near the sideline, incomplete, out of bounds. O'Connor takes over from Nolan Henderson, who started the last three and a half years for the Blue Hens. Here's the first rushing attempt. And they're able to make it through for a seven-yard game. Third and four, O'Connor to pass, looking, rolling, waiting, incomplete. Saunders will have a chance to return, gets it up to 34. He's taken down after a nine-yard pickup in the Penn State offense. And Drew Aller will make their way onto the field. Here's Aller to throw on first down, a quick pass, and they get it into the hands of the tight end, Theo Johnson, for a nine-yard pickup. They'll hand this one off just across the 50 and stumbling forward for a few extra yards is Catron Allen on first and 10 from just across midfield. Allen will hand it off to Allen, looking for a hole, but he was tracked down quickly. Second and 10 for Allen and the Nittany Lions. Plenty of time. Trying to dump it off for Allen, and it was thrown at the feet. Penn State facing third and 10. They hand it off, they find a hole, and Catron Allen picks them all up and then some. On Penn State's first possession. We'll give it to Allen again. And he got the drop the football, but he's able to fall back on top of it. Three wide receivers set. And Singleton in the backfield. Put Clifford in motion. They lob it over the middle to the tight end Johnson, and he's just gonna barrel his way forward for a first down. much there but that pile keeps on moving and give him four and stayed into the red zone here on second and six three receivers set at the top of the screen and Aller's gonna keep it they give it to Allen he's got the edge Catron Allen touchdown flag on the play I'll hold the celebration <laughs> holding on the play yeah, a little holding on the play right there. That probably allowed Katron to get around the edge. But you're going to see a blitz on the inside. And you saw Coach Yersich from the sideline direct this play to go outside to run away from the blitz. But you just see right there on the edge, just a little holding out of the tight end. A little block in the back right there from Harrison Wallace trying to help his running back get into the end zone. But that's an effort penalty right there. If you're a coach, you can kind of live with some of those penalties. Play clock down to five. Aller to throw. That one is complete. DeAndre Lambert-Smith taken down inside the five. It's a first down. <laughs> Allen towards the goal line, gets bottled up just a little bit short. to Nicholas Singleton, who finds a spot in the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. You saw on this play right here, right before the play, he calls opposite. They funnel the ball through the C-gap, flood the C-gap with blockers. Nicholas Singleton gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State Nittany Lions. Alex Felkins is out for the extra point. No problem there. Second possession for Delaware. Ryan O'Connor, quick throw, and he just overshot Joshua Youngblood. Long ball 
towards Youngblood, and that was just out of his reach. And State bringing the pressure. O'Connor hit, stumbles, and down he goes. Jalen Reed, a loss of eight on the play. Great job by Jalen Reed. Ryan Cost just able to get it away. It's a short one, and it's out of bounds. They will mark it out. Penn State starting with the football at the 37 of Delaware. Drew Allen, nice easy pitch and catch as he hooks up with Tyler Warren. Allen four for five through the air, 36 yards to start his day. For the Big Ten Offensive Player of the Week, threw for 345 yards last season. He threw for 325 yards in the opener against West Virginia. Flag down, gets taken down right near the line of scrimmage by Nick Ware. A little holding on the edge right there. Back it up, first and 20. And an empty backfield for Allen. Quick throw, far sideline, it's Malik McLean. Allen, a jump throw into traffic. here on fourth and four and they get it into the hands of Harrison Wallace and he does get the first down. They're going to keep it on the ground. This is Singleton. And he's right near that first down marker. Allen to the right of Allen. And it's Cage Allen. And it's a Penn State touchdown. That's great patience by Katron, but look at the blocking. Blocking down. Even see Trey Wallace get in the mix. Extra point from Alex Felkins is good. Marcus Yarn spins his way through for just a couple of yard gain. Quick throw, wide open receiver, but the throw was low. They did get the arms underneath it. Jordan Townsend gets the catch just a yard shy of a first out. First completion of the day for Ryan O'Connor. Good cut. Able to hand it off and some open space. Marcus Yards, no one can catch him. Touchdown, Delaware. And a 66-yard touchdown run from Marcus Yards. Extra point gets through off the foot of Alex Smoke. And that one is caught and Taken out of bounds by Nicholas Singleton. Yeah. At the two yard line. Got the referees talking about this thing right here because you did see Nicholas Singleton with the fair catch signal. After review, the receiver number 10 completed the fair catch inbounds. Therefore, the ball will be placed at the 25 yard line. It's first down, Penn State. So the worst starting field position for Penn State is their own 25 instead of the 35 it was originally called. Drew Aller starts this drive having completed his last seven consecutive passes. He'll hand it off though. Nicholas Singleton picks up nine on first down. They give it to him again. First down. Gets it to the 39. Is that where we're going to see Mike Rob? Maybe one of the biggest differences between an FBS school and an FCS school is that power on the offensive line going against the D-line. Absolutely. Again, just the type of athletes that these Power 5 schools are able to recruit and able to get on their roster, usually in the trenches, offensive line, defensive line, that's where you see the difference. Skill position players, you can run, you can run. But if you're a big guy and athletic, it's hard to find. Final play of the first quarter. It's a keeper for Aller, and he took a pop. <laughs> and he brings it to the... 
43, give him four, maybe five yards on the play, and the quarter comes to an end. Penn State with the football here to start the second quarter. Now here in the field, a couple of yards shy of a first down. I'll set up third and two. Two for three on third down so far today. There's three for nine last week. This will get the job done. They're going to flick it back to him. And they've got an open. DeAndre Lambert Smith. And he is out of bounds after a 19 yard pickup. Eight straight completions for Aller. They hand it off here. And Singleton powers his way through. Second and three. Aller has got a wide open Singleton out of the backfield, and he flips his way down inside the five. Alex Vilas took him down, but not before an 18-yard game. Good job with Drew with his eyes. First he starts deep, then he checks it down to Nicholas Singleton right over the football and gets inside the five-yard line. That's something that Nicholas was trying to work on this this offseason, catching the football, spending time after practice on the jugs machine, something Saquon Barkley told me, they told him will come in handy later on this season. First and goal. Touchdown, Penn State. Nicholas Singleton waltzes into the end zone. Touchdown, Penn State. And just watch the push. Watch this offensive line. You see the double teams. You see Nicholas Singleton making the run through guy miss. This is an elite power five football team. And the extra point is right on through from Alex Felkins. Four kicks, four touchbacks for the Penn State kicker. New quarterback in for Delaware and Zach Marker. We expected to see some time here today, but this is the first time he's gotten on the field and he handed off to Kyron Cumbie on first down. He's gonna throw, he's just able to get the ball away and into the hands of Jojo Bermudez, who's across the 30. Third and three. Marker on the move, sees a spot, and he's going to be short. An awkward kind of dive down, trying to give himself up. Took a hit. Started to give himself up. It looked like just shy of the first down marker. So he's got to put his helmet back on. They got to get a good punt here. Last time they punted, it wasn't a great uh, punt. It stayed in the Nittany Lions territory. Got to start to play the field position game here. Delaware didn't punt at all last week against Stony Brook. Ryan Cost is able to get this one away, and this is a much better punt inside the 10, fielded by Caden Saunders, and nowhere for him to go. I think we got a flag on the play here. Might be first down Delaware. Flag right at the line of scrimmage. Offside, number 91, receiving team. Five yard penalty from the previous spot. The results in the first down. So Delaware gets a first down. Their drive will continue. So far in this game, Penn State's had the ball for 15 minutes and 15 seconds. Delaware just over four minutes, and the ball's on the ground and available. It looks like Delaware able to get back on top of it. Those are the mistakes that you cannot have. And it's second down and long for Zach Marker. Delaware Blue Hens hand it off here for Kyron Cumbie. Third and 20. Marker. Incomplete. Well, this Nittany Lions co coaching staff just loves. Just not an out of space there as well. Caden Saunders will take it at the 21. And he gets barreled over. Just shy of the 25. Aller will hand it off to 
Singleton. Sling that one a long way to Harrison Wallace. Taken down quickly by Jackson Taylor. Pyle just keeps on moving again. Six yards on the play as they mark him shy right about the 44 yard line. Again, you look at this offensive line, you're just going to see them pick up other men and say, get out of the way. This is our space. Michael Singleton ahead for just a yard. This one dumped off by Tyler Warren, and it's complete for first down. And again, another completion to, by Drew Aller. Illegal substitution, 12 on the field, defense. That penalty is declined. Result of the play is a first down. It's big Keyshawn Hunter shaking up a little bit earlier in the game, trying to get off the field. Aller, plenty of time. Nobody open, so he'll take what's in front of him. Wow. Took a big hit. Saw Drew Aller trying to push the ball downfield. Had Trey Wallace. He wanted to, he took a look at that one on one on the outside, but it just wasn't anybody open. You see Tyrone Herring getting on, getting on top of the receiver. Well, helmet to helmet, that's what the, <laughs> that's what the crowd has responded to, trying to protect their quarterback. Teo Van no Damien. The one who took a piece of Drew Aller. Time they hand it off to Keith Catron Allen. Aller is 12 of 13 in the game. He has completed 11 straight passes to seven different receivers. He's under pressure here. Finds some space, finds a wide open Dante Cephas to the five. And a flag coming in at the end of the play for that late hit. After review, there is no target by number 18. He could stay in the game. However, the late hit penalty will be enforced half the distance from the succeeding spot. It's an automatic first down. So it's first and goal either way after a 31-yard completion, the longest throw of the game for Drew Allen. Off goes to Nicholas Singleton, who goes right into the end zone for a touchdown. Third rushing touchdown today for Nicholas Singleton. Great blocking on the perimeter. Watch the aggressiveness getting up to the second level. There's just not much Delaware could do on that play. Extra point is right through. Take it out of the end zone here. Joshua Youngblood. Trying to turn the corner, and he's taken down inside the 10. Delaware going back to Ryan O'Connor, and it was almost intercepted. Dom DeLuca had that one go off his hands. Oh, I know Dom DeLuca wants that back. He's the captain of this team. He used to be a walk-on. Now he has the scholarship because of plays like this. Reading the quarterback's eyes almost came up with it. He was upset before he hit the ground, Brandon. I knew that was his. And a good spot on the field, too. O'Connor rolls out. Chased after in the end zone. Has to get rid of it and does. Third and ten. Pass is complete. Uh, they're going to get to him just shy, about a yard shy of the first down as Jordan Townsend stopped by Zane Duran. Going for it on fourth and one. And Ryan Carter will take a timeout. It looks like they don't have enough guys on the field right here. Don't know if they can call another timeout. 
They're just going to take the penalty. Trying to get their attention, and now they're just going to let it go. That new rule cannot call two timeouts consecutively. And so now they take the penalty. Game. Offense. Five yard penalty for the previous spot, but still, fourth down. So the punt from the three, and this will send Saunders back. And he feels it about the 26 yard line, and he got hit hard. So Penn State gets the football back. Up 28 7 here, with three and a half to go in the second quarter. They will keep it on the ground. Just a three yard gain. Aller to pass. Looking for an opening, and he's able to find Keandre Lambert Smith, who's taken down just after that first down marker by Nick Ware. Fresh set of downs here for Aller. Katron Allen will take it. Try to knife his way through. But it may not be the best example of it, Mike Rom, but Franklin said, you know, one of the things that separates Drew Aller from other young quarterbacks is. While he considers the playbook rather sophisticated, Drew Aller knows it cold. And that helps him be able to go through his progressions. He knows where everybody is, where they're supposed to be, and he's not waiting for that sexier route to open. He's able to hang on, doesn't hang on to his progressions, just throws the ball where it's supposed to go. And just off the hand of Catron Allen, and that will snap his streak of 13 consecutive completions, just the second incompletion he's thrown today. Third down and six. Penn State four for five so far here today on third down. But they run out of time here, and James Franklin does get the timeout before the play Penn clock State. wound down. This is the first and a half. So he'll take his It'll first half. Seconds. Third and six. Allard the pass. And a little miscommunication there with Malik McLean. Punt for Penn State. Had four drives all ending in touchdowns prior to this. And so Drew Aller will chat things over while Riley Thompson comes onto the field. Won it twice last week against West Virginia. And the Australian kicks this one back and caught on a line. Fair caught at the six yard line. Trying to call a timeout on the play, and they just did get that timeout. It's part of the 03 National Championship team as Yarns lost the ball. He was spun down, but was never actually on the ground as Abdul Carter just kind of rolled him over. So he wasn't down. Then the ball came out, and he's able to get back on it. O'Connor trying to get rid of it and pass out of bounds. And so Penn State is able to get off the field on third down again. Ryan Cost shanked one earlier, but he's averaging 42 yards per punt overall. And he's out. Boot this one away. We're turnable for Saunders. Just shy of midfield. And he it took a heavy hit as he helicoptered down to the ground. Just into Delaware territory after just a five yard pickup was Quincy Watson. Spun him down. So a minute and 14 seconds for Aller and Penn State to work with here before halftime. Aller flushed out of the pocket, forced to chuck it away. Aller will keep it right up the gut. Aller's got a first down as he hits the 35 yard line. 14-yard gain on the design run for Drew Aller. Again, he's he's not a runner, <laughs> but he does have movement ability. You can see with the quarterback draw. They go to Lambert Smith over near the boundary. And another first down is Penn State coming down the field in a hurry. Sideline this time and spinning forward is Harrison Wallace. He's out of bounds at the five. So Penn State getting the ball short on time, trying to come down the field and punch another touchdown in 
before halftime. Allard towards Clifford. That's Liam Clifford, the younger brother of Sean Clifford. Dropped for a loss by Khalil Dossi that time. Great situational football and experience for Drew Aller right here. Aller to throw over the middle, and it's batted down. Harrison Wallace there from everybody's flag. <laughs> Pass interference, number four, defense. By rule, the ball will be placed in the two-yard line. Automatic, first down. Again, just a slant, glancing route by Trey Wallace. Goes across the face of the defender. And again, Khalil Dossie just getting to the receiver a little too early. Dossie, the Harvard transfer in his first season to Delaware over the middle. Touchdown. The tight end, Tyler Warren. Great job, Tyler Warren. He's been getting work all day, finally gets the touchdown. The tight ends weren't that involved last week. You're just going to see him glance across the screen right there. Touchdown on a quick slant from Drew Aller. Watch the eyes, the throw pinpoint accuracy in the end zone. The redshirt junior from Mechanicsville, Pennsylvania, had three touchdowns last year. Been around this program a long time. Short kick here to the 15 for Joshua Youngblood, and they're going to move it. He's able to flick that one over. One up being a nine yard gain as JoJo Bermudez was there to receive. And this was a designed pitch play right here to JoJo. Bermudez just couldn't turn the corner. Joshua Youngblood right there playing a little option quarterback. And that ends the half. Delaware takes the knee and sends this one towards halftime. And Penn State will get the football here to start the second half as Nate Reed will kick it away in the direction of Nicholas Singleton from the goal line. Right up the Space. gut. And he makes his way across the 25 to the 26. And that is where the drive will start for Penn State. Katron Allen gets the handoff from Drew Allard. Katron Allen. Timely taken down by Jackson Taylor after a 14-yard game. Flags come here. A false start. Allen spins trying to find somewhere to go. Gets back four. Gonna bring up second down. Allen on the move. He's got a man near the sideline, and he had two men over there, but the pass is incomplete. Out of bounds. <laughs> Personal foul, roughing the passer. Number zero, defense. 15-yard penalty from the previous spot. Automatic, first down. Again, it's the self-inflicted wounds. You're already going up against a big-time opponent. You don't want to beat yourself. Allen. Wide open Tyler Warren and the tight end just barreling his way through to the 35 yard line. Tyron Herring was along for the ride. And again, to getting these tight ends involved, Tyler Warren again, but there's just nobody over here for the Delaware Blue Hens defense. I mean, nobody. There's nobody over there. As you can just see, the tight end pop wide open with no resistance. Again, you had a rolled up corner, but it wasn't before he got some yards. Lambert Smith made a nice yard, a nice move after that catch. And wound up with 18 on the play. First and 10, Allard. Quick look, settles into the pocket. He's got a wide open Lambert Smith in the flat. And he's taken out of bounds at the 17-yard line. Allard 
Right. And a couple men miss. Catron Allen inside the five. Hey, Brendan, did you see the footwork on that? I did. Oh, up here. Goodness. He's lined up there next to Aller. They'll give it to him again. Inside the five. Jack Hall with the tackle. Yes, yeah, good play by Jack Hall right there. Senior played in all 13 games last year after missing most of 2021 with an injury. Aller rolls out. Nice tackle there as Tyler Warren, the tight end, was looking for his second touchdown today, but he was upended by Tyron Herring. Tyron Herring, great job, big fella. A vicious tackle to make sure that Tyler Warren didn't get in the end zone. Look at that hit. They're going to push this one forward. Touchdown, Penn State. And Mike Robbins, you can appreciate when you got a quarterback that's built like a fullback. <laughs> I knew that was going to come up at some point. <laughs> Just push the pile through. Sander Sahadak is out for the extra point here in the second half. He missed two field goals last week against West Virginia. Had to feel good to put that one through the uprights. taking over at quarterback for Penn State. And flags before he gets a chance to take the snap. Offense, five-yard penalty, still first down. This one thrown over to Dante Cephas. Finally brought down right near the original line of scrimmage. Penn State five for seven on third downs today. First time Bo Perbula will be the one taking the snap, though. Perbula to pass. No, he'll put it down and run. It's a dual threat. He's going to be short here, about three yards short. Offense still on the field here on fourth down and three. Empty backfield. But Perbula will pick it up himself, and he's got a lane down the middle. Taken down at the five yard line. <laughs> Scored a rushing touchdown at the end of the game against West Virginia last Saturday. He's going to keep the football. He's got a path to the end zone. Touchdown, Bo Perbula and the Nittany Lions. <laughs> Alex Falcons this time for the extra point. That is good as well. Ball carriers have had a rushing touchdown. Allen, Singleton, Pabula, and Aller all have rushed for a touchdown. Singleton's rushed for three of them. That was the first touch for Jonathan Silver at the running back spot for Delaware. Is that pass complete to the tight end, Braden Bros? Six out of seven defensively on third down for Penn State, and down goes O'Connor. This one punted away towards Saunders. Flag comes in as Saunders goes down. During the return, holding number 31, receiving team. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It's first down. Timeout. Trabula is going to run it himself and got to the edge. Empty backfield here on third down. Mule has thrown just one pass. He won't throw one here. He'll pick up a first down, though. <laughs> Dominic Brockham with the tackle after a seven-yard gain for Pabula. Again, anytime you go empty, 
and you have a movement quarterback, it, it makes things easy for the quarterback, right? You go empty, he can see the guys that are in the box, you see the quarterback draw there, it was five for five, nobody for the quarterback. Trey Potts swallowed up as soon as he took that handoff and dropped for a loss. Second and 13. Rabula just too tall. Rabula throwing the football. It's tipped and it drops incomplete. Second punt today for the Nittany Lions. Low let's kick, let's go, let's fair go, catch go, signal go. at the 20. Parker, oh, it's picked off. Dom DeLuca gets his interception. It's a pick six touchdown. <laughs> Dom DeLuca has gone from a walk-on here at Penn State to a special teamer and part-time linebacker to now a scholarship player and one of the captains of this team all in the span of a year. So if you're if you're Delaware and Ryan Carty right now, but what can you do here over the last quarter plus that's going to help you next week? It's going to help you in a CAA schedule. This team is ranked 19th in the country at the FCS level, trying to get back to the FCS playoffs where they won a round last year and got bounced out by the eventual national champions. Uh, they have high aspirations at the FCS level this season in Delaware. If I'm Coach Cardi, I stand up in front of my team and, and, and you got to love them up. You got to let them know that, I mean, this is not, these are not the teams you're going to be playing every week and use the lessons and the experiences that you gain from this game to help you later on in the season. Defense, ball in place and spot of the foul, automatic, first down. Yeah, when you're that fast, <laughs> You talk about 4-2-4-3 speed. Oftentimes, colleges find a way to get you on the field. Look out. Marker got crushed as he let go of that football. And slow him up a little bit. This is a pretty good run here for Jonathan Silver as he picks up the first down and crosses into Penn State territory. Well, this is the first play from scrimmage for Delaware on the Penn State side of the field. They got a touchdown and a 66-yard run. That's it. Oh, and Marker got demolished. That's a big-time hit by Jamel Lyons. Jamel Lyons with the big hit. He's a guy that Coach Franklin said he will play today. He's just too good for us not to let this guy on the field. Big aspirations for him. Happy Valley, not as full as it was at the start of the game. There's still plenty here <laughs> to watch Penn State for the 56-7 lead over Delaware. Nowhere to go there. Third down, pass is complete. And a little bit of room to run for JoJo Bermudez as well as he gets to the outside. Forced out of bounds near the 25-yard line by Elliott Washington. It's the longest passing play. It went for 28 yards. As this time, Marker keeps it himself before Elliott Washington drags him down. Oh, look out. The helmet came off of Marker. We've seen that helmet pop off a couple of times here today. They're not putting Ryan O'Connor back in. Ryan Lepomsky is there at the quarterback position, but a timeout taken by Ryan Cardi. Well, they have elected to attempt a field goal here. The kick is up. And no good. Missed it left. So Penn State will take over at their own 29-yard line. Bo Perbula is still in at quarterback, and the handoff goes to Trey Potts, and Trey Potts is able to bring it Trey all the way up to the 44-yard line. Flags come in here. And a 
everybody's pointing fingers. Offside, number 16, defense. Five yard penalty, but still first down. Trying to hope his defense, no more in self inflicted wounds. Potts again, able to knife his way through, cut to the outside, and he's tripped up just shy of the 30 yard line. Takes 11 people to run the football. It's a good job by this offense. Keno Arrington, LeVar Arrington's son was the one who ultimately got credit for the tackle there. This is a three yard loss courtesy of Ethan Saunders. They're gonna keep feeding Trey Potts. He's taken down just shy of the 30 yard line by Malumba. Four yard gain. Well, Bots played in 12 games last year in Minnesota, even made a start. There's a hit hard. Christian Driver, son of Donald Driver. Some pedigree right there. That's a tribute to the recruiting staff here at Penn State, just getting some of the best players in the country. Going for it on fourth and one, no problem for Potts. Third time they've gone for it on fourth down. Third time they've converted. Potts bouncing to the outside, trying to turn the corner. Trey Potts, Perbula trying to give him a block as well. And he's knocked out of bounds inside the five. Might be coming his way again. No, Perbula this time keeps it. Lots of room. He's going to throw. A touchdown. Omari Evans. Point is good to make it 63. Omari Evans. This one's going out of the back of the end zone. Alex Felkins getting the honor of doing the kickoff here. So Penn State on their way to approving to 2 0 this season. Last year they went 11 and 2. The two losses. To Ohio State and Michigan. That has been the problem for James Franklin and Penn State for really as long as James Franklin has been here. They've been so good for so long. Wow. But just four and 14 against Ohio State and Michigan. You know, I spoke to Drew Aller a few weeks ago. We did a one on one before last week's game, and he talked to me about, you know, being from Ohio and having to deal with. All the scrutiny of not going to Ohio State. He's like, Mike Rob, I wanted to be here. Coach Franklin and his coaching staff is special. I think he's at the right place. 63 points on the board, getting up there in the James Franklin era. Seven rushing touchdowns, one passing touchdown, and an interception return for a touchdown. Lots of different ways to score the football for Coach Franklin. But watching this game, Mike Rob, and there's 63 points on the board. I hate to say it, it almost doesn't feel <laughs> like it because there's 63 points on the board, but it hasn't been big plays, flashy. It's just been almost business-like for Penn State. That's exactly right. It, it's been very business-like. They've taken care of the plays they were supposed to take care of. Not many mistakes, right? They lined up, ran the football, leaned on this offensive line, leaned on the defensive line. Coming away with the win. Tank Smith with the carry there, Gavin Mole. Gets credit for the tackle. The longest passing play on the day was 26 yards. Yeah, again, not flashy, not super explosive. But I think when Coach Franklin and the, and the coaching staff look at this tape, they're going to be happy, right? They did what they were supposed to do. They scored on almost every almost every drive. And got some takeaways defensively. Good cut. Perbula upended there. Well, Perbula was trying to leap. Anthony Crenshaw he was able to get his feet out from underneath him. Well, Perbula, whose brother went to Delaware, he was a reserve quarterback for him for a few years before transferring to Sacred Heart. So, okay. You think familiarity he, with the Blue Hens for Bo Perbula? You think he got a scouting report <laughs> yeah, a maybe, little bit? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. A little text message to, to Big Bro, like, hey, man, what do they like to do? What's, <laughs> what's the cause? Uh -huh. But again, I think he's had a, a great game, right? And Coach Yersich is doing a great job of, again, calling the plays that Bo Pabula is good at. I mean, he's a mover. 
he, he, he does a great job at driving the football. And he's operating his offense at a high level right now. Tank Smith will pick up the first down on second and one. Pabula has seven carries for 43 yards and a touchdown. Three for five through the air, three for a touchdown as well. You know, these are very important reps for Bo Pabula right now. Again, it looks like he has a little cut right there. Saw true freshman Jackson Smolik have to come into the game and hand things off. Pervula's back and under duress, and he's able to escape. Knocked down at the 30 yard line. Penn State has had the football in their possession for more than 40 minutes of this game. Wow. That is, um, yeah, we call that dominating yeah. the time of possession. But again, when you're running the football, your offensive line, they're firing off the ball. You're getting a lot of different people in the football game. That's how it's going to look, especially when you're, you're that dominant from a talent standpoint on your opponent. This is Tyler Holzman checking into the game and getting a carry. It's the final minute approaching here in State College. So for Penn State, you know, they turn their attention now on towards the rest of the Big Ten. Illinois is on deck for next week. It'll be the first Big Ten conference game of the year. Penn State open for a little less drama than the last time they played Illinois. <laughs> that went nine overtimes. Yeah, a little less drama than that. Nine <laughs> overtimes, that's a long time. And week eight and week 11 are the ones circled here at State College. will be in Columbus week eight, October 21st. And they're here against Michigan on November 11th. Well, Drew Aller looked good again today. Number seven, Penn State with a 63-7 win over Delaware. That offensive line deserves some love as well. 60 rushing plays from scrimmage for the Penn State Nittany Lions here this afternoon.